Alright, what is up guys? Lone's Wrestling Night 9 back here for another video. This video CZW Proving Grounds Review. And uh crap, where do I put my ticket? No, it's over here. Yeah. Put in my little thing already, but there's the ticket as you can see. And uh pretty much got back from Proving Grounds about an hour and a half ago, something like that, and I'm just gonna make the review now, why not? And uh show you the merch first, as you can see, Drake Younger tank top. Uh, I got a picture with Drake and uh, Scotty, and uh, right after Drake was like, "Here's my Drake Younger present." He was like, "Hey man, you want to buy buy a tank tops? I got posters, tank tops." And I was just, this is like my reaction. I look at my mom like, "You got any more money?" She's like, I, "Oh, I got the money." Pulled it out, so I got this, twenty bucks, and then I got this number forty-six of fifty poster uh, from Drake Younger. There you go right there. Put on this shot. Yeah, Half my screen's covered up because I got notes like on the computer. And then uh, I found, ironically enough, I found, I found this in the bathroom, laying on the ground. It wasn't touching anything, so I don't think there was like piss on the ground. It was just like laying in piss. But I found it ironic enough because DJ Hyde's face is on it, and you know everybody knows that he's just a piece of crap. And it, he's in the bathroom, so you know makes sense. But uh, it's the proving grounds poster. And I just figured I'd bring this home. Why not? I'm probably not gonna hang it up. I'm gonna hang the drink poster up. This is probably just gonna stay like with my other unhung up posters. Uh, all this crap right here. Not crap, but look at this. On point. Support on point. And if you're in the area, go to this show. Go to this show. Three of these things. And this little RF video thing. And then, uh, the collection begins. The, uh, I couldn't stay away. I've seen too many previews, too many people jizzing their pants about PWG, so I got him, I, I did it, All-Star Weekend, Night 1, Night 2, and here it is, I got Night 1 signed by Callahan, I should've got it signed by Drake, but I'll just bring it the next time uh, I go to CZW and Drake's there, but, um, Night 1, Night 2, uh, I was was planning on catching up on CZW this month with my DVDs, because the last show that I got is the 14th anniversary, but I said, you know what, get the PWG shows, so yeah, I officially started watching a new company once I've put those in and I washed them. But um here's the merch. There's the Drake Younger tank again, very cool. Just in time for summer. Feels nice. And uh yeah, so let's kick off the show. Kick off the show with a triple threat best of the best tournament uh rewind match. Andrew Everett, Shane Hollister, and Caleb Col Colony figured say say I always mess this up. I'm really bad for the name, sorry. But, um, phenomenal way to kick off the show. This was one of the matches I was looking forward to the most, because all three guys are just phenomenal, especially Andrew Everett, uh, and they all put on great performances, the best of the best last month, so I was really looking forward to this. Pretty quick, quickly into the match, uh, Andrew Everett does, like, a shooting start press to the outside, there's tons of high flying in this. Overall, it's just a great match. Shane Hollister ended up winning, uh, I believe he pinned, who did he pin? I think he pinned Andrew Everett. I think he did. I might, might be wrong, but Shane Hollister won. No problem with that. And, uh, yeah, it's just overall, it's good, good way to start the show. Great match. Uh, next, you got Just Kavik versus Nevaeh. Um, you know, at least they got a, a good match this time. I thought the match was good. They got, uh, probably, I think, more time than they got it wanted. That ended in a double count out. But this we actually got an ending to. Uh, Nevaeh kicked, pretty much kicked uh, Just Kavik, I think, right in the head. And, uh, won. And, uh, overall, I thought it was a a good woman's match. I wasn't expecting much out of it, but it was good. Next, you got the Blackout Ruckus and Black Tees defending against John Silver and Alex Reynolds. Um, very enjoyable tag team matchup. I thought Blackout is probably my favorite tag team. I think over the past couple months, it's OI4K Blackout. They kind of shift, but over the past like ever since it's over the past few months, just to say Blackout's just getting a little bit higher and OI4K is still up there, but. Blackout is just my favorite team right now, and um, it was a fun match between John with uh, John Silvers and Alex Reynolds, and uh, yeah, I mean Black Blackout being typical Blackout getting on the crowd, Black G's telling a woman to suck his dick. Yeah, um, it was just funny stuff from the Blackout, and again, just a good match. Blackout won, uh, no surprise there. I didn't really see the titles changing, but Blackout won in a very enjoyable match. Next, you have the grudge match between Max Ramon and Joe Gacy. Pretty much didn't even get a match here. Uh, pretty much, I believe they started brawling, like, in the corner. I forget what Gacy did. 
took out Tremont for like the time being, went under the ring, got a dull collar, and then he puts it around like Tremont. I think he like kicked him or punched him a couple times, puts it around his neck, like one end, and then tried putting it around the corner, and then the thing fell off, so everybody started getting on the mud, like you can't do uh something or I do I don't know, you messed up, you messed up or something like that, I don't know. But uh eventually ties him up, chair shot, chair shot, I think it was two or three and then barbed wire chair once and I think that was it. And uh yeah, so that's definitely gonna lead to a future match. Pretty much got we didn't obviously we didn't get no winner but got good storyline advancement there. Next you got Tracy Smothers versus Greg Excellent. Um pretty much cheap heat from Tracy Smothers a lot during this, he said uh, he was on the mic and pretty much said, you guys better not chant, what was it, uh, where's my pizza, that's what he said, don't chant, where's my pizza, like, what, <laughs> and I don't know why he said don't chant that, but he did, and of course the fans started chanting, where's my pizza, and then eventually said, um, don't chant, Tracy sucks, which so I do a Tracy sucks chant, so, cheap heat by him, but, um, match was, it was alright, you know, they pretty much in the middle of it started a dance off, which, Literally, when they started dance off, I was like, in my head, they're gonna play Fandango's theme. They didn't, but I was really thinking that Greg Excellent was gonna be like, hit the music, and then Fandango's theme was gonna come on. Uh, that would have been really funny if he did, or maybe Brodus Clay's theme, like he did uh, Best of the Best last year. But um, during the match, uh, Pepper Parks and Cherry Bomb came out, and they didn't really play a factor. But I'm sure it's gonna lead to a future Excellent and Pepper Parks match or feud. But uh, Greg Excellent won. Tracy Smothers, he like. It's like the thing where he goes for like the, what's it called? Goes for like the cocky pin or whatever, like this, kind of like lays on him. And Excellent rolls him up. One, two, three, and Excellent beats uh, Tracy Smothers. And, uh, yeah. Was, what, whatever there. Next, you got Drake Younger. Oh, we got Nation of Intoxication, Lucky 13, and Danny Havoc coming out. They pretty much said uh, they've been arguing for like the past month on who's going to face Drake Younger. Drake Younger comes out. Uh, he pretty much says that, uh, He's not going to need to pick one. And then, out of nowhere, Scotty Vortex, I think he jumped the guardrail. I didn't really notice him until he was, like, pretty much getting in the ring. But I was like, oh, my God, Scotty Vortex is back. Vortex is freaking awesome. Which leads to a, you know, Drake and Vortex versus Havoc and Lucky 13. A phenomenal tag team match. Probably my favorite match of the night, honestly. I just, I don't know, I just love this. It was just a fun match. I mean, Drake Younger, Scotty Vortex, they're probably my two favorite guys in CZW right now. But, um, Drake and Vortex, they, yeah, they won, and, uh, forget how they won, forget how, but, um, Drake and Vortex won, and then after, uh, Scotty Vortex, well, Younger said Vortex won't be in Tournament of Death this year, and then, pretty much, Death Moore comes out, chases Younger and Vortex off, and then says he's gonna face Drake at Tournament of Death, I don't know, it's kind of confusing, because, like, who's, he's in Tournament of Death, you're facing who, I don't know, but it was, Whatever, and I'm so glad that Scotty Vortex is back. Naptown Dragons is back, and I'm looking forward to seeing the advancement of the Naptown Dragons and the Nation of Intoxication now, because that's going to be a great feud. Now, during intermission, literally the entire intermission, Pepper Parks and Cherry Bomb were in the ring, just pretty much talking to the fans. I literally, I went to go get, like, uh, what did I go get? I went to go get three bucks for my mom, so I was short on getting uh, one of the PWD DVDs. They're 15 each. But, um,. And I, he was like, I got the money, and then I peeked, he was talking to, like, he came out of the ring, was talking to the people that were sitting in front of me, and I peeked my head out, I was like, nobody wants to pay to get in the ring with you. Nobody wants to touch you, you're freaking disgusting. And uh, I got a, a laugh from some dude behind me, but whatever. And then he came back from an intermission, Jay Chris comes out, I believe he said Masada, and I forget if he said, I, some, for some reason Masada wasn't there, I didn't really catch it because I was like walking around at this point, and this is when I got my, my uh, tank top and uh, my poster from Drake Younger, and then literally this entire match, Jay Chris and Pepper Parks, it led to an, an impromptu match, I was literally just like walking around, just pretty much not even paying attention to the match, I mean, Jay Chris and Pepper Parks, you know, I really wasn't looking forward to that, but um, Jay Chris of course won, no, obviously no surprise there, and it sucks Masada couldn't be there, but um, Hopefully we can get Chris, Chris and Masada uh, in the future. Drew Gulak uh, campaign for Better Combat Zone came out. Just pretty much had like a five, maybe eight, ten minute segment, somewhere, somewhere around there. Pretty much just talked, and that was about it. Next, you had Alex Colon and Four Loco coming out. Uh, pretty much talking, getting, you know, talking about Air Fox, best of the best. Air Fox comes out, 
because he pretty much didn't come alone. Out comes Tommy Dreamer and Shane Strickland leads to a six-man tag. Four Loco versus Fox, Strickland, and Dreamer. Uh, Fox was a really fun six-man tag team match. And uh, pretty highly uh, believes Strickland won for the team with the Swerve Stomp on Israel. Yeah, that was it. Uh, Swerve Stomp on Israel won it. And then after the match, you literally got Fox, Strickland, Dreamer, and like some chick that was in the crowd for the night, but I, she's, uh, I think she usually, like, is at the merch stands, dancing in the ring. It was funny as hell seeing Dreamer, like, dancing. Was, everyone was cracking up. Everyone, like, literally was popping for Dreamer just dancing. But, um, that leads to, um, <coughs> sorry. Um, that leads to the main event, Sammy Callahan versus DJ Hyde. Uh, I thought this was a really good match. Brawled around the, uh, whole arena, at a, pretty, not pretty much the whole, like, arena, like, out of the ring, over the guardrail to the, like around the merch stand. It was kind of it was similar to their match that they had at the 13th anniversary show last year. Uh, I thought this was actually a little better though, but um, yeah, it's just a really really enjoyable match. And I was following them like I was in that pack like last year 13th anniversary show and they were rolling all over. I was pretty much standing on my seat. This year I was like, all right, I'm just gonna follow these guys all over the place, even if I can't see it. It was fun. But um, Dreamer Callahan made an event. Thought it was good. Callahan tapped out Dreamer. Of the stretch muffler. After the match, pretty much gets on the mic and says, "I'm sorry, I love you, and uh, thanks for everything." That's what he said. And there have been rumors for, you know, uh, he, ever since he had the dark match at SmackDown, like in fall and uh, past couple of weeks. You know, he's been having his medical tests and blah 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 for WWE. So I know he still is wrestling PWG on June 16th or 15th, something like that, against Adam Cole in an Ar Iron Man match. But um. Yeah, that's that's it. Proving grounds and overall, guys, I thought this was a really fun show. And honestly, probably my the most fun I've had at a CCW show this year. Uh, just overall show-wise, maybe this second best, best of the best, is probably first, then this, and then probably 14th anniversary. And then you can just mess around with like the other couple ones wherever you want to have them. But I don't know. I just thought Proving Grounds overall was a very fun show. And uh, yeah. I'm digging this shirt, guys. Look at this. This is awesome. Just in time for summer, too, just like Drake Rimmer said. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Peace out.